Ice sheets formed long before the existence of humanity, and since their formation, they have exhibited a formidable presence in Antarctica. These ice sheets, covering the entirety of Antarctica like a blanket, can reach thicknesses of up to 4 kilometers in specific regions. One might think that these ice sheets make Antarctica wet and humid, but in reality, they transform the continent into one of the driest places on Earth. In some areas, not a single drop of rain has fallen for approximately 2 million years. Even during the summer months, where temperatures can reach minus 20 degrees Celsius, the water in the frozen continent's atmosphere remains constantly frozen, preventing rain and perpetuating the dryness. Antarctica hosts the planet's harshest conditions. Therefore, only a few species can survive here, typically inhabiting the coastlines and open seas. However, this cold and desolate landscape was not always the case. It may be hard to believe, but there was a time when Antarctica had forests, lakes, and a variety of living species, including some dinosaur species, according to recent research. However, all this life is now buried beneath the thick layer of ice covering Antarctica. To understand the factors that froze Antarctica and led to the extinction of this rich life, we need to take a journey through time. Before the video, if you subscribe to the channel, you will make me really happy. Now we can continue the video. If you could have visited Antarctica 56 million years ago, the first thing you would likely have noticed is greenery. We know, thanks to remnants of ancient palm trees, ferns, and pollen found on the Wilkesland coast of Antarctica and in various regions of the continent, that remnants of these warm weather plants once existed in Antarctica. These remnants indicate that Antarctica was surrounded by a tropical climate. The evidence suggests that during that time, the annual average temperature in Antarctica was 16 degrees Celsius. With winter temperatures reaching minus 11 degrees Celsius, the likely reason for this tropical temperature is related to Antarctica's position 56 million years ago. Geological studies indicate that Antarctica was closer to both the Australian and South American continents during that period and was further north than its current location. The reason for this is plate tectonics. Now, what exactly is plate tectonics? Plate tectonics is a geological phenomenon involving approximately 12 large plates that make up the continents we inhabit today and the ocean floors on which the seas rest. These plates cover the Earth's outermost surface. Plates with depressions filled with water form the oceans, while elevated plates form the continents, the land masses we walk on. Additionally, these plates are constantly interacting with the movements of magma beneath the Earth's crust. These interactions cause the plates to approach, move away from, or collide with each other, resulting in earthquakes, volcanic activities, or the formation of mountains. However, the movements of these plates generally occur quite slowly. For example, these movements can be as small as a centimeter per year, or as fast as 10 centimeters per year. According to researchers, the impact of these movements will reshape the Earth after 50 million years, giving rise to a new appearance caused by the shifting plates. The surface of our planet is constantly changing, and 56 million years ago, Earth had a vastly different appearance than it does today. The Antarctic plate was positioned farther north during that time, causing the warming of Antarctic coastlines and the acquisition of a tropical climate. It is even speculated that ancestors of kangaroos might have used Antarctic coasts as migration routes during those periods. An essential detail to note here is that 56 million years ago, only forests and plants existed on the coast of Antarctica, but millions of years later, this led to the entire continent being covered with a massive green canopy. The event that caused this change is known as the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, which occurred approximately 56 million years ago. During this event, the Earth's temperature increased incredibly and glaciers worldwide melted. According to scientists, the average temperature during this global event rose by 5 to 8 degrees, and this increase persisted for 220,000 years. As the world's climate changed, plants began to flourish. Palms, ferns, and other tropical trees started spreading across all continents, including Antarctica. 
This transformation turned Antarctica into what could be described as an open zoo because Antarctica was quite extensive during those times, hosting numerous diverse ecosystems. For instance, in the regions near the equator and at higher altitudes, there were plants similar to beech trees found in rainforests, while coastal areas generally featured mosses and trees adapted to live in these conditions. Additionally, some regions experienced monsoon rains. However, it's important to note that not all plants were distributed across the entire continent. Antarctodilops, which were first described in 1984 and identified as the first invertebrate species discovered on the continent, inhabited Antarctica. They likely migrated from South America to Antarctica and established themselves here. Furthermore, it was believed that other mammals discovered in Antarctica probably reached the region via South America. Another significant hoofed mammal found in Antarctica was Astropahelia. These creatures, which were the size of rhinoceroses, had a structure resembling an umbrella on their heads that would unfold when it rained. However, their origins were not connected to these animals. All these living beings coexisting during the Eocene period indicate that Antarctica once hosted many terrestrial mammals. However, understanding the factors that killed and froze Antarctica is a complex process. The likely factors behind this are related to plate tectonics and the Earth's temperature. The organisms in Antarctica still inhabit this region, but significant changes are occurring on the continent. While we may not precisely know when these changes occurred, Roughly 56 to 50 million years ago, Antarctica and South America began to drift apart. Later, about 40 million years ago, Antarctica separated from Australia with the emergence of a sea route called the Tasmania Gateway. Between 36 and 23 million years ago, as another sea route began to form, Antarctica ceased being a land bridge between South America and Australia, becoming an isolated continent. Shortly after this event, a natural occurrence known as the Antarctic Circumpolar Current started in the Southern Ocean. This water current is the most powerful flow surrounding the entire Antarctica and is one of the largest currents globally. According to climatologists, this current continues to have a chilling effect on Antarctica even today, dating back to 41 to 23 million years ago. Finally, a reduction in global carbon dioxide levels during this period led to a temperature drop of approximately 15 degrees in the polar regions, resulting in Antarctica being covered in ice. In conclusion, many plants and organisms from that era suffered significant harm and perished, frozen beneath the glaciers. If we could melt the ice covering Antarctica today, we could reach the remains of these organisms from 56 million years ago and discover more about them. However, the remains lying frozen beneath Antarctica's ice indicate that the life during that period was richer and more diverse than we might imagine. This information has emerged from fossils found in research boreholes in Antarctica. The history of these fossils, located under an average of 2 kilometers of ice, dates back approximately 350 million years. Additionally, remnants of two dinosaurs, believed to have lived around 190 million years ago, have been discovered. During those times, Antarctica was a small part of the supercontinent Gondwana, serving as a temperate home and rich resource for such dinosaurs. Antarctica's future is being investigated by scientists who are assessing the impacts of climate change and global warming on the continent. As long as climate change persists, various changes may be observed in Antarctica. Here are some possible scenarios, melting of ice sheets, if the melting of ice sheets continues due to global warming, it could contribute to a rise in sea levels. Since much of Antarctica's ice is underwater, its melting can contribute to the increase in sea levels. Ecosystem changes. Climate change can affect Antarctica's ecosystem. Increases in temperature, changes in seawater temperatures, and ice melting can impact marine life and alter the habitats of colony-dwelling penguins, seals, and other species. Geological and geophysical changes. Factors such as the land masses beneath Antarctica and the liquid layers beneath the sea floor can lead to some changes beneath the ice. This could influence the region's ocean currents and circulation. Research and tourism. With the possibility of more temperate conditions in the future, 
tourist interest in Antarctica may increase. This could create additional pressures on the natural environment in the region, presenting challenges in managing environmental impacts. These scenarios vary depending on climate change and other factors, and predicting future developments precisely is challenging. However, scientists are actively studying climate change and monitoring changes in the region to better understand possible future scenarios. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you like and subscribe to the video, you will make me very happy. Thank you again.